All right. So, all right. Okay. So, um, here's how you quick edit a full wedding video. Here's how I quick edit a full wedding video. When I use this strategy, I usually edit the whole video in a day. That's if I have time to sit there and do everything. But as you know, you know, if you have kids and you have other obligations and, you know, let's say you have another job, it's going to be harder for you to edit this the whole video in a whole day. But I can actually edit a whole video in a day if I wanted to. But, some, you know, I have two kids and uh, one of my is five months old now. I have to feed this kid. I have to change diapers and all this. Not to sidetrack. Let me get back to this. So here's how you edit a full wedding video in a day if you want to so this strategy will help you out a lot because it helps me a lot so let's get to it so let's say you you have your drives here i already made the i already brought up the sequence here so let's anyway so here's a full finished video so what i do is these are the like um you know before the ceremony so what i do is I edit the ceremony first. Okay, see how all these edit the ceremony? Because that's where the most work is, you know? It's the audio. So edit the ceremony first. If you're trying to make, you know, if you're trying to finish fast, edit the ceremony first. And then after you edit the ceremony, go to the first dance, which is right around here. Is it entrance, entrance? entrance first dance yeah so do the first dance first and then all that other stuff and then you go to the toasts and stuff so yeah so here's my strategy what i do is i edit the important stuff first which is the ceremony i put the ceremony and edit it first dance cake cutting toasts and I, uh, part two, well, yeah, 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 that's me. Anyways, and then what is this, the dancing part or whatever? I don't worry about this stuff. I go to the main stuff, like the cake cutting. Where's the cake cutting? Here you go. So I, ed I edit these little parts, like the cake cutting and stuff, and the garter, bouquet, and stuff like that. That's the stuff that I actually edit, you know, the garter bouquet toast and all those things that's what i uh, actually edit so yeah so i edit the important stuff first you know and then now i go back to like the this stuff her huh, getting ready and go all the way to this stuff to the dancing like you know because this stuff is not important you know what i mean because you don't need to really cut those up you don't need to really match the, the the music and you don't need to do a lot with these things so my strategy is first i edit the important stuff first i start with the ceremony and then i go to the uh, toast dance first dance cakes got a bouquet i do those shots i edit though that stuff first because once i edit that stuff first everything else is easy you know i just throw it in there it's not as important but anyway it's important but it's easy it's easier instead of you starting with the with, with the easy things like doing the um the getting ready and then you go no no just do the important stuff first especially if you do the ceremony because the ceremony takes longer to edit because you gotta make sure you get the good angles you align everything well you stabilize everything so do the ceremony first and then do the other important parts first and then now go back to your getting ready go back to your dances and all that stuff that really doesn't you know doesn't take that long and then the titles i put those two at the end and stuff like that so so yeah so that's how i quick edit uh, a full wedding video what's the groom doing on this one okay booty shaking much huh anyway so yeah so that's how you um you quick edit a full wedding video. 
I don't know if this makes sense to you, but it makes a lot of sense to me, and that's how I do it. And if you if you use um this strategy, you are going to definitely speed up the way you edit the full wedding video. And the reason why I edit my videos in Premiere Pro is cause for some reason um Final Cut Pro uh always gives me errors when I'm doing projects over an hour long. You know, if I'm doing shorter projects in Final Cut Pro, I don't get any errors, but there's always a lot of errors when you're doing, you know, like one hour, two hour videos, you know, so Premiere Pro doesn't give me any bullshit like oh you, you know this uh frame here dropped this that no nah, it just does its job it's, if it's if it's gonna take four hours it takes four hours but it delivers the product if it's gonna take eight hours it takes eight hours and it delivers the product as long as you got space on the on on your hard drive or wherever you're moving it to and all this stuff so there's a lot of other wedding um you know channels on youtube but everybody is different, you know what I'm saying? Everybody is a different artist. My stuff is going to be different from those guys. And their stuff is going to be different from each other and from me. So when you watch their videos, don't 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 let that be the end o b o. You know what I mean? You have to open your mind and watch other videos. Like you watch my videos, go to another channel that makes wedding films and watch their videos. They might teach you something that I probably don't know or I'm, I, I haven't yet taught you guys so always be open-minded about learning learn as much as you can because the more you consume the more you know you know it's like school it's like education you know the people who always study are the ones who pass not the ones who cut class you know so that's that so learn as much as you can from all these youtubers that are putting content out there especially all this free stuff this this is some stuff that people charge for but you're getting it for free you know so anyway so yeah so don't be like oh but this dude does it like this but you know craig adam does this but you know yeah craig adams edits videos how he edits videos you know i edit videos how i edit videos if we all edited the videos the same way and what options do we give people who want a want a wedding videographer? You know, they're gonna be like, oh well, if your shit is the same as this person, then why should I go to you? And plus, you're charging a dollar more. I'm gonna go to this person because his shit is exactly the way you do your shit. Same cameras, same settings, same everything. So you know what? I'm gonna go to the person who's charging me a dollar less because I'm gonna save my money and buy my Starbucks coffee with it. So it's good to be different. It's good to always kind of differentiate yourself. It's good if you do color grading, color grade your videos a little bit different from everybody else. If, you know, you're doing drone shots or whatever, always do something different. So that's why it's good to always learn from different people. So that way you can expand your knowledge more by learning from all of us different um, filmmakers, you know. Thank you for watching. Uh, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new so I appreciate you guys and I'll make more videos like this and thank you subscribe and please give me the like button Bow. what please give me the like button really subscribe and